Okay, let's do a, an S parameter simulation here. And we'll start things out a bit easier by going to Tools and Filter Synthesis. This will save us a bunch of time. And there's a pretty cool uh, set of filter applications here. Let's go with a Chevy Chef so you can see some ripple. Let's go with, say, a fifth order. And we'll leave it at a dB of ripple just so we can see it nicely. We can calculate. Let's go back again. Filter synthesis. I'll try to keep these in the window here so everybody can see. And let's. We were successful at going into the clipboard. So now we can go edit paste and magic hit escape and here's our five uh, elements of this filter port 2 load and source and this is port 1 load and source this little application sets up our uh, sweep we don't really need to go to 10 gigahertz 2 gigahertz would be fine for what we want here and uh, the equation block has already been set up to uh, create the uh, DB um, of S21 and S11. And uh, for the beginners here, uh, S21 is simply, simply the voltage gain. So this is uh, uh, what, what comes out of port two that went in on port one, and we take 20 log of that, or minus 20 log of it. And then, uh, so no, it's 20 log, anyway. Yeah, because it's less than one, so it comes out negative. Uh, S11 is the ref voltage reflection uh, relative to what comes ba reflects back out of port one that went in on port one. And since this filter is symmetrical, then S22 is identical to S11. S12 is identical to S21. It tends to be the nature of uh, most filters, at least a lot of them, especially with symmetry. So now we can just. Uh, our simulation and bring in our Cartesian and pick for S parameters double click on DBS21 double click on S11 S, uh, DB hit OK and there it is rather classic and if we don't like uh, what we see here, I'm keeping this a bit small just for the YouTube sense of it. Uh, we do have a bit of nomenclature here on the side explaining that the blue is S21 and the other color is S11. And we can double click on this, hit escape, we'll move this over. and we can look at limits and change the left axis to say minus 20 in steps of 5 and stop at the top at 0 and then hit OK and now we can actually see the ripple. And a typical uh, assessment of this is we have one, two, three, four, and five, uh, hence indicating a fifth order. A third order would just be one. It would just have a single dip here and come back and roll up. So you'll have more dips uh, with uh, the higher order filters. Uh, but you'll also uh, get a much deeper skirt uh, with the higher order filters. Also note though that the uh, the in-bander uh, um, return loss or visor as a uh, voltage standing wave ratio some people like to think of it is pretty degraded on this and uh, I wouldn't have expected this to be this bad but it tends to be the nature of it although right here near you know, essentially at cutoff it's a really good return loss. So uh, 
This is the uh, nature of piecing together an S parameter simulation. Now we'll move this out of the way and let's look at a Smith chart. And again, we'll pull in the S par and let's just look at S11. And there it is. Let's escape to get rid of that other chart. So we're sweeping around here down at DC. Essentially at DC, it, if we took it down far enough, this is 100 megahertz right here, we would see 50 ohms because the capacitors would be open circuits and the inductors would be short circuits. And uh, But as we sweep up through frequency, this right here at 50 ohms is that first deep notch we saw. Then we come back here, and here's the second deep notch at the cutoff. And then as frequency increases, the filter winds up moving along here until it becomes essentially uh, uh, asymptotically approaches a short circuit as you go up in frequency. And if we want to see what's happening here, we can come up and grab a marker and see, uh, and then hit escape. We can move this around and get a feel for um, some of the information about that. So in this case, um, at 956 megahertz, which is pretty close to the cutoff, uh, you can see that the uh, reflection here is just 0 0.04. So it's a uh, pretty nice 50 ohms there. And obviously, if we uh, uh, moved out a little bit more, uh, uh, we'd still be able to move a fair bit around this and still have a nice uh, return loss there. So that's the nature of uh, getting up and running for S parameters in QCS.